Welcome to the Plant Food Federation channel. If you are new here, I am Afyong. If you have been here before, it's great to have you back. Now, in today's video, I want to show you how to make falafels. I've really been enjoying falafels lately. They are so versatile. You can have them in sandwiches, in pudder pockets, you can have them in your salads, you can have them with fries, or you can just have them on their own. Now, they store really well, so you can put them in the fridge or freezer, so you can make a big batch in advance, and then you can enjoy them over the course of several weeks. Now, I'm also going to pair today's falafels with some golden turmeric rice, which is really easy to make, some tabbouleh, which is a herby salad that is simple as well and that you will love and really complements the flavor. I'm also going to add in some hummus because, come on, we've got to have some hummus. And I'm going to show you how to make two versions of a really simple tahini sauce that you can drizzle on your hummus or on your salad, and they, it stores really well as well, and you can use that during the course of your week also. Now I'm going to head into the kitchen to show you how to make this dish, but while I'm doing that, tap, look below this window, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, go ahead and tap that notification bell as well. That way we can stay connected and you will always get notified every time new videos go up on this channel. So with that said, said, with that said, let's step into the kitchen. So let's get started with these falafels. Now here are all the ingredients that we'll need. We're gonna have a lot of herbs in here, so I've got a lot of cilantro and parsley and a lot of spices. Now I'm using raw chickpeas that I've soaked overnight or for at least eight hours for this dish. You don't wanna use canned chickpeas for this particular recipe. So I'm using jalapenos for these falafels. You can also use green chilies or you can leave the pepper out. I'm also gonna cut up some onions. Now I'm not really worried about how I cut up my vegetables because everything is is eventually going to go into the food processor. I'm also going to add in some garlic. So I'm going to pour everything into the food processor. Again, once you have your vegetables prepped, prepped and your chickpeas soaked, this is really easy. So I've got my jalapeno peppers here, I've got onions and garlic as well, so I'm going to pour everything in. I'm then going to add in all my seasonings, my black pepper, my salt, my cor coriander and cumin, and I'm also going to add in some baking powder. Now I've set aside the chickpea flour that I have for this along with the baking soda and the sesame seeds, which I'll add in later. I'm also going to add in half of my herbs, and I'm just Going to sort of pull them apart and put them in here again everything is going to be whizzed up by the food processor so i'm going to give this a few pulses to bring everything blend everything together and as i do that um, i also want to scrape down the side so you'll need to do this a couple of times until everything is mixed in and then i'm going to add in the remainder of my herbs so you should have this really beautiful green um, mix ready to go. So I'm going to pour everything into a bowl and I'm going to pour in my chickpea flour which I set aside earlier and give everything a mix. Again you can add more or less chickpea flour just depending on how wet or moist your mixture is. So I'm adding in the baking soda and my sesame seeds and I'm going to mix those in at the very end and then after this all I'm going to do is with a clean pair of hands start rolling my falafels. Now I'm using an ice cream scoop for this. This one is about um, two inches in diameter, but you can use um, a smaller one, of course. And you just wanna use your hands to kind of roll it into a ball. And I like to place these on a parchment lined sheet while I roll them. So that's it, there you have it. You have your falafels ready to go. Now I'm gonna divide my falafels into two because I like to make a batch and freeze them. So I'm going to put these in a freezer in an airtight container and I only will need to bring them out and defrost them a little bit before cooking. So in a hot pan of oil, we are going to start frying our falafels. Now you can fry these, you can bake these, you can air fry them. Um, they all come out great, but in this case, I decided to fry them. You only need to fry them for a few minutes, making sure that you turn them um, over in the pan so that they cook evenly. And that's it, the falafels are done. This was a really easy um, recipe to make. 
to go with our falafels, we are gonna make some tabbouleh. Now tabbouleh is this really simple herby salad that you can have with your falafels. And again, it's just another easy recipe to make. So I'm going to chop up some onion. I have uh, a cucumber here as well, which I'm gonna remove the seeds because I wanna make sure that I reduce the water content in this recipe. And I'm just going to dice these up. So I'm gonna put that in my bowl while I now head on and use cherry tomatoes in this particular dish. And I'm just gonna cut these into quarters. Now you can just use any tomatoes that you have. If you're using larger tomatoes, just remember to remove the seeds and the water again to reduce the water content in the salad. So I love fresh herbs and in this particular dish we are using fresh mint. So I'm going to chop up some mint. I'm also going to do the same thing with um, some fresh flat leaf parsley which I'm going to use. So just give everything a good rough chop. Now I like to add more parsley than mint, that's just the ratio that works for me but again this is something really easy so make this dish this salad to your liking so I'm going to put everything in a bowl that I have here and then that's it so what we're going to do now is just to prepare the dressing the dressing for this is really simple I've just got some crushed garlic here put in as much as you like I have two cloves of garlic crushed I'm also going to put in about a quarter cup of lemon juice so I'm going to pour that in just making sure the seeds don't fall in there and a pinch of pepper and a pinch of salt as well. And I'm gonna give everything a really good whisk before adding in some extra virgin olive oil. So mix everything up together and then just pour this dressing over your ingredients and toss everything up in the bowl. And there you have a really simple, really easy, bright, fresh, Taboule to go with your falafels. Next, we are going to make some golden turmeric rice, which is really easy to make and really quick. And the ingredients for this are really simple. We've just got some turmeric, paprika, salt and pepper, and some oil, and some onions that I have had left over from my taboule. So I'm gonna put some oil in a pan and I'm going to saute my onions for about a minute then i'm going to start adding in my spices so my turmeric my paprika and my black pepper and a pinch of salt and i'm just going to stir these in the pan with the onions to bring out all that flavor add your rice to the pan and just stir fry your rice for a few minutes to make sure that everything is well coated then once that's done, you just want to pour in some water or some vegetable stock, depending on what you like to use. I've added a sprinkle more of salt. I'm turning down the heat and just gonna cover this and allow it to simmer. And after about 20 minutes, your golden turmeric rice is ready to go. What's next? Our tahini sauce. Now this is great for falafels or for any other dish or salad that you may be eating during the course of your week. So I'm going to show you how to make two variations of this. So I've got some tahini here. I'm going to crush in some garlic and I'm going to pour everything into a mini food processor. Now it can be quite stiff so we're going to be adding water to this in a few seconds. Next I'm going to add about a quarter cup of lemon juice. And I'm going to add in some salt. This is really simple. So I'm going to blend this up. And as you can see, I have a thick paste here. So what I'm going to do now is start adding water to this to get it to the consistency that I like. We're almost there with this. I do think I'll add a little bit more water and a little bit more salt for seasoning. This is exactly the consistency that I'm looking for. It's pourable, but it's still quite thick and it's great for salads, 
for anything that you want to pour this tahini sauce on so i'm going to store half of it in an airtight jar but what i'm going to do is add some of my fresh parsley to the other half of it so this just adds sort of a herby fresh flavor to this so that i have two versions that i can use any way i like and so again no real measurements for adding parsley add, add as much as you would like and you're going to get this like light green tahini sauce that you can use as a dressing so there you go we have two variations of our tahini sauce they store really well in the fridge and you can use them during the course of your week on your meals Next up, I'm gonna make a really simple hummus. I know this is an overdose of chickpeas, but hey, you've gotta have hummus if you have falafels. So I'm gonna use canned chickpeas this time, which I've strained. I'm gonna pour them into a food processor with some lemon juice, some black pepper, some salt, and some garlic. I hope you're noticing that a lot of the ingredients for, these, for the recipes in this platter are pretty similar. I'm also going to add in some tahini and I'm going to give everything a really good whiz until I get the consistency that I want. Now once I've done this I'm going to just pour in my extra virgin olive oil to make this hummus really smooth and there we have it. The hummus is done. Again hummus is one of those things that you can add to any dish not just a falafel platter but again as a side for your salads or in your buddha bowls. So all our recipes are done. I'm going to now make this platter come to life. So I'm gonna start by plating the golden turmeric rice, which as you can see is really bright and beautiful. I'm gonna add on some of my falafels and I'm going to plate my tabbouleh. Now you can add as much and as little as this as you like and you can plate it in any style that tickles your fancy. I'm serving this pasta with a couple of slices of pita bread and it's done, it is ready to go. I'm gonna to top it up with my tahini sauce and I'm just going to add a sprinkle of olive oil and smoked paprika to my hummus to add a bit more flavor, but this dish is done. Now look at the inside of these falafels. They are crunchy on the outside and soft and herby on the inside. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this platter. Remember to hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this video. Let's keep the conversation going on in the comments down below. And until next time, just remember that eating more plants is always a good thing to do. I'll catch you in the next video.